Another wonderful day at Lucky Land. Yes. Uh, the sun is shining. We will go for a walk now. We will bring some scissors and gloves uh, because uh, we know that the trails we are going to do will be abandoned. So we need to clean them in order to be able to do it every day. Do some workout. So let's go. Enjoy this fresh and clean air in the mountains. Hey Luigino, are you resting? You can probably see here all, all the grass frozen, this, the ice. Yeah. It's getting really cold uh, during the night. have a plant of juniper guys see these berries you can make the gin the alcoholic beverage or you can use it also for flavoring meat potatoes fish so we will collect now this blue violet purple gray berries Yeah. Oh, they are hard. They are hard and the plant is... Ah! Ah, I told you! Our goal is to fill it up. Yeah. It's almost. Almost full. We'll search for one more plant to fill it up. The smell, wow. <sighs> the perfume is incredible. We found a huge one. Look at that. Sara, did we achieve our goal? We did it! And the plant is still full. Do you know what this means? That we can go back home. <laughs> yeah, and then come here for the second round. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's enough. That's enough. And these are nice too. Let's stay here forever. Be here together. We can nurture each other. Find us another world to be our This is 
this laurel. This is bay, bay wood. We have uh, two or three big trees that they are growing too much. So every year we are cutting some branches, uh, some part of it, uh, because it become like from one tree it become like four. So it keeps growing more and more. So we, every year we need to cut a lot of it. And this one we cut it, I think one or two years ago. So it's nice and dry, it's perfect to burn. And we write that it's perfect for the fireplace. Yeah, because it burns slowly, it's not too fast. So it's yeah. better. You're happy. And the smell is just delicious. Yes. While Sara is uh, editing, is working inside, uh, I will start moving uh, one of these two compost uh, on the other side over there. I will just put it there so we will be able to start cleaning all of these, all the plants that we have to remove and uh, we will be able to put it inside one of the compost uh, and uh, soon we will be working uh, with all that mess uh, and uh, organizing and uh, making all this part of the garden uh, become nice, clean uh, and uh, usable, you know, to plant uh, in the spring uh, all new plants and veggies uh, so let's get to work take advantage of this beautiful sun and work in our garden, what remains of our garden. But we have a lot to cut, we would like to leave everything clean for the next spring. And we are thinking about building a greenhouse, but we need to decide still where to put it. As you can see all the tomatoes are already dry, are dead. It's time to put uh, all these plants uh, into the compost uh, and clean everything and get as much as possible ready for next year. So in spring we will be able to plant uh, all our new plants uh, in this beautiful garden. Luckily, even in lockdown, we can get some boxes, the shipping companies are working, so we are not completely isolated from the rest of the world. Even if it's Lucky Land, uh, it's a little bit uh, on a mountain, uh, we would like to share with you guys a fun story. So when we were in Sicily visiting uh, these uh, beautiful places uh, on the seaside, uh, we decided to go inside a shop and buy some typical products uh, from a typical shop of that area. Yeah, we were in Marzanemi. That town is known for the tuna fish. And in our videos, we like to share the tradition, the history of some places, even if we are not sponsored or if we don't have any collaboration going on, because it's important to share our culture in our videos. So after visiting and buying some products uh, and showing in the videos uh, uh, about this shop, uh, 
few weeks later we have been contacted by the marketing team of this shop and uh, it was quite emotional because uh, uh, they wrote us that the owner of this uh, company, of this shop, uh, he saw the video, he got emotional watching uh, our video and uh, he decided to make us a gift. Yeah, he, he said we need to find out who are these two guys, these two Italians, and uh, because I would like to send them some products. And so today we received a box with all the products inside. So we got a lot of goodies from Sicily and we miss Sicily so much. We fell in love with Sicily. We can wait to go back. I just want like to show you. I would like to show you this because it's it's, a ton, it's tuna. massive and it's more than half a kilo of tuna, 600 grams. And then I love this. Look this. This package. Look at this box. Uh, yeah. How cute this box is. Sarah told me, <laughs> don't eat this tuna because I want to keep this box forever, you know, this packaging is so nice. Okay, so thank you so much again to Campisi. We will keep this for the winter. <laughs> so we will enjoy uh, a touch of Sicily still. During the, the yeah. winter in, in north of Italy. Now let's go back to the garden. We have still a lot to do. Let's work. This summer I got these gloves because I want something that can protect me from roses, from sticky plants. Like I hate these ones. It's full of them, you see? This will stick, but at least they will not harm me. It's terrible. This will stick on your clothes, on your shoes, on your socks. Today we will pick these leeks and tonight we will cook dinner together, the food that you grow. Nothing tastes better. This composter is full. You need to buy at least two or three of them. Yeah, more. I would buy at least four more. Okay. Ooh. Potato, potato. Oh, this. <laughs> Potato. Kind of shape. Oh. <laughs> What's happened here? Crazy shape of potato. <laughs> this is funny. It's a lucky land potato. Wow, I can't wait to eat our potatoes uh, tonight. They're super big. Yeah. It's a dig. So tonight soup with potatoes and leeks from the garden. Okay, wow. Look at this root. How many will we use? Two. Two? Yeah, two or three. The smell is awesome, guys. Yeah. Okay. This looks smaller. Wait, wait. Thank you. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake, shake it, shake it. No, 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 no. Wow, a tree. Big roots. <laughs> All the roots will go into the compost. Beautiful. Oh, we have a strawberry here. <laughs> strawberry everywhere. Okay. Let's save it. We'll clean the leaks here so I can use the compost straight away. Okay.
Okay. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Dinner. Working outside in the garden, it's hard, but it's so rewarding. And now we will collect some seeds, some beans, something that we can plant. Next year. So here we have some black beans that we can let dry inside. We will collect them. And here we have some artichokes that we let uh, dry. This is what were the flowers. And here we have some sunflowers. Let's see if I can okay. show you how to collect the seeds from these dry flowers. Let's go inside. Okay, these are the tomatoes we picked today. Some lavender. Luca, show us how to do it. Okay, so let's start with the artichokes. Mm -hmm. How many seeds you can find inside an artichoke? It depends. Uh, okay. I will show you now. They are just down here. We have one there. Okay, basically where the heart is, the yes. beginning of all this beer. The choke beer. Yeah. You can see here and at the bottom how many seeds. All these are seeds, all the seeds. Okay. Let's find the seeds in the sunflower. And you can already see them mm -hmm. all there. Here yeah, as well. Yes. Let's start just with half of it. Mm -hmm. So inside the black shell there is the the, the seeds because I remember yes. that the these are the seeds. Okay. But the one that we eat? Uh, you need to grow them bigger okay. to um, the ones that you eat. But basically this is the same of the one that you eat, but it's smaller. Okay. So you just plant this and you will have a sunflower. Mm, plant. I can see a lot of sunflowers next year. We have also some chickpeas that we let dry. You see here inside these are our chickpeas that we can plant next year. So after letting the beans dry, this is how they look like. Now it's time to think about our bird friends. We're looking for a place where to hang the bird feeders. Some pine tree here. How many do you want? Like, let's say that, like this, it's okay. Okay, let's go. We will make some do it yourself peanut butter, pine cone, bird feeder. Here we have our pine cones. Now, Luca will tie each of them. Okay, so one, it's done. We have a long wire, it's all natural. And then we have some seeds. 
Okay, so Sarah is filling up. Uh, yeah, the pine cone with some peanut butter. We are not done yet, but we finished our peanut butter, so... If you don't have peanut butter, you can use the coconut oil without any problem. It's safe for the birds and it will do the job. Yeah, especially if it's cold like this, uh, it will not be liquid, it will be solid uh, like this. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like using peanut butter actually. I'm just uh, melting a little bit the coconut oil. So cute! Super! But now it's too dark to go out there to hang them out, so we will go in front of the fireplace and see you tomorrow. And now it's time to make dinner together. Awesome! The recipe of tonight is not easy. It's more than easy. And we need just five ingredients. Leeks, potatoes, vegetable broth and extra virgin olive oil. And the fifth ingredient, we will tell you, we will reveal the fifth ingredient at the end of the recipe. It's a secret for now. Yeah, let's start. Let's just need to clean and cut the leeks clean and cut the potatoes and then all you need for this recipe is one pan and an immersion blender. That's it! We'll clean the external leaves because they are more fibrous and hard and we'll keep the heart. Potatoes from the garden. You can recognize the lucky land potato. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs bye. up guys, if bye you like bye. this video, thumbs up. <laughs> now then we put some extra virgin olive oil, the leeks. We cook them for two minutes. And we add also the potatoes. And we let it cook for other three minutes. And then we just add the water. And the granular vegetable broth. broth. Okay. And we let cook everything for 20-25 minutes until the, until the potatoes are, are cooked. you my love thank you cheers because cheers. every day it's a beautiful day <laughs> cheers okay guys the soup is ready and now we will blend it with an immersion blender
Luca, it's time to reveal the secret ingredient for today. Okay, so we are not able to travel right now, but we want to feel like we are traveling. When we were in Colombia and Ecuador, we were tasting uh, every day many, many comida corriente or almuerzo del día. That means uh, the typical lunch meal of the day. And it's where every worker or where everybody were eating their lunch. So we will try to do the same uh, like uh, we tasted in Ecuador and in Colombia. This is our last uh, ingredient. It's something that we don't uh, we are not used to do in our culture here in Italy, but we will be putting popcorn uh, in our soup. And, on the top. Uh, on the top. Uh, yeah. Instead, uh, we usually put crostini, that are some uh, little pieces of bread uh, toasted uh, with a little bit of oil and oregano. Um, croutons. Croutons, that are croutons. And um, this time we will try like this. And uh, we will let you know how it is. Or if you're going to try this recipe with the popcorn, let us know in the comments if you like it, what do you think about it. Now, I suggest you try to try it. it. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. If you don't like it, you can always eat the popcorn watching <laughs> our videos in a evening, a cold evening night. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Luca, show me the way we'll do. Okay, so you will get your popcorn, put it like this, and then you taste the soup with the popcorn inside. I will just wait a little bit because otherwise I will burn my mouth. <laughs> like always. <laughs> like always. Mm -hmm. I like it. And it's so healthy. Everything is beside of the popcorns, everything else comes from the garden, the potatoes and the leeks. I'm super proud of us. Yes, and it's super good. And here is where we will let you go, dear friends, beautiful people. We hope you like today's episode. If so, please show it to us uh, with uh, a big thumbs up, uh, smash that button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video of Liu, Liberty and Wonder. And please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you guys, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. And the Italian words for today's video are... Autunno. Autumn slash fall. Casa dolce casa. Home sweet home. Cari amici. Dear friends. Autunno. Autumn slash fall. Casa dolce casa. Home sweet home. Cari amici. Dear friends. From Lucky Land, our Casa Dolce Casa, it's everything. Cari amici, dear friends, and we will see you on Sunday. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. See you on the next one. Ciao. Ciao. Luca. It's cool that I clean and you... <laughs> and you enter in the house with dirty shoes. Yeah, they are almost clean. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Because look at when Luca get excited, he start just dancing all around, you know, going back and forth. <laughs> Thank you. Zoom. Zoom. Don't look at me with the side eyes. In particolare, continua il ministro, il governo si appresta a varare, grazie allo scostamento da 8 miliardi, nuove misure a partire dal rinvio delle nuove scadenze tributarie per i settori più colpiti, con un decreto di Story Quater adottato subito. From uh, Lucky Land, our casa dolce casa. It's everything, cari amici. Sing you a song, it's taken so long. The flowers we've grown are standing alone. These feelings have reached.